You like burgers? I know I do. Welcome back to another episode of Register for Dinner. I'm your host, Sebastian Register, and today we're talking about sliders. That's right. We're going to top these bad boys with pickled red onions and my soon-to-be famous secret sauce. Stay tuned. First things first, let's season this meat. I have about a pound of freshly ground beef. 80-20 is the percentage, in case you cared. I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Season it with some Worcestershire, about three dashes. Salt. And some freshly ground pepper. Now it's time to get down and dirty. Now it's time to pour in the patties. Grab about a meatball size of beef and just start forming little patties. Perfect. Your sliders are finally made. Now make sure that you wrap them with saran wrap and place them in the fridge for at least half hour so that they firm up and they don't fall apart on you when you put them on the grill. It's time for my soon to be famous secret sauce. Don't tell anyone. Shh, it's a secret. So in the bowl right here, I have about a cup and a half of mayonnaise. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of ketchup. Any brand is fine. About one good tablespoon of pickle relish. Eh, might as well drop the rest in. A teaspoon of onion powder. Two to three dashes of smoked chipotle pepper uh, Tabasco sauce. And two dashes of Worcestershire. Give this a quick mix. But I almost forgot. One of my favorite things to put in secret sauce is some finely sliced onion. Set your sauce to the side, get a sharp knife, cut the top of your onion off, slice it in half, and peel away the skin. I hope I don't start crying. All right, very carefully, take your blade and run it horizontally along your onion. Try to make it as thin as possible so that you get the smallest dices possible. You don't need that much onion in your sauce, so don't overdo it. And then take it and cut straight down thin little slits. Turn your onion and there you are. That's about all the onion you'll need. As you can see, nice small dices. Take your onion, throw it into the mix, and mix well. Oh god, here comes the tears. You know, I just get so worked up making these shows for you guys. Taste and adjust again. Mm. Good, but it could actually use a little bit of salt and pepper. So, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Just do the trick, just fine. Give it a mix. Saran wrap it and place it in your fridge for at least an hour so that the flavor is really merry. All right, my sauce and my beef are in the fridge, blending, having a grand old party in there. Now it's time to make your pickling brine. So first what I have is a small pot, a saucepan, if you will, and I'm gonna take one cup of vinegar. If you don't have white vinegar, uh, you can use apple cider vinegar, that works just as fine as well. Pour it in. I have about a tablespoon of whole black peppercorns. I'm gonna pour that in here as well. A tablespoon of granulated sugar. And you want to do about a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. Perfect. Take this, place it on your stove, and simmer it on low until everything is dissolved and it's come to a rolling boil. While your brine is coming up to a boil, it's time to cut your red onions. I have two medium-sized, well one small red onion and one medium-sized red onion. And all I'm going to do is just thinly slice them. First, cut off the tops and take off the top layer of the skin. You don't want that. So very carefully, don't do it in your hand like I just did. I'm a skilled professional. Peel off the top layer. So I have my onions, they've been skinned, and I'm gonna start thinly slicing them. The thinner you slice them, the faster that they'll pickle. Ignore the tears and just put your sliced onions into a medium-sized bowl. All right, your pickling solution has finally been brought up to a boil. It's potent. Take it and pour it over your onions. 
Don't worry if it doesn't cover the top because what the salt and all the vinegar is going to do is start breaking the onions on the lower and eventually all of the liquid and everything will cover everything and they'll all pickly, pickle evenly. You can let these sit out at room temperature for half hour to an hour to let them pickle or you can pickle them overnight. I personally recommend letting them pickle overnight um, but if you're at low or short of time like I am then doing it for about a half hour, hour really isn't going to hurt it that much. And the great thing about these is because they're pickled they'll last up to a month. All right, it's time to cook some sliders. I just pulled these bad boys out of the fridge. I've got my stove over here on medium high heat and I've sprayed it with some cooking oil so just so that it doesn't stick. Now it's time to start cooking. All right, gently lay the sliders away from you so that you don't burn yourself and it doesn't splatter. Let your sliders cook for about three to four minutes on each side until they're perfectly uh, medium to medium well in the center. All right, it's been about three minutes. Give them a flip. All right, we got about a minute left before these are ready to come off, so now we can start putting on our cheese. I just have some sliced cheddar cheese that's the best cheese to put on top of burgers. I let them cook for another minute, minute and a half, and they'll be ready to go. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's assembly time. So grab your burger slider buns and start cutting them in half with a bread knife very gently. Take some of your sauce, put it on both the top and bottom part of your bun. Grab some of your beautiful pickled red onions, burger slider, a couple of pickle chips, and your top bun. And there you have it. A beautiful burger slider. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and want me to cook something else, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay hungry my friends.